Today, boys and girls, we're giving you a very different kind of writing assignment. Your teachers and I have realized that it's been really um, difficult to communicate with some of you, and we will send you a Gmail and there'll be no response, or we'll send you a private comment and we don't get any response. So your job today is to make sure that you send your teacher a Gmail that we know that you are using it. And it's proper to always respond to your teacher to acknowledge that you got the Gmail or the private message. We want to know that you're getting the information that we're sharing. We want you to be better learners and we are doing that through Gmail, or we are doing that through private comments. So today, your job is going to be to send a Gmail to your teacher. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to your nine buttons. You're going to click on Gmail. And you are going to compose a Gmail. Now, I'm going to play myself, and I'm going to play a student today as you can see. So I'm going to compose an email to my teacher. My teacher's email is going to be written in our assignment today, and I'm sending it to Mrs. Hartman. And I'm going to title it writing assignment for, oh, it's not an assignment. It's an assignment. I do that all the time. My fingers type faster for Monday. So my writing assignment was to send an email to my teacher. So I wanted to let you know So I'm always going to sign my name to it also. Uh, I'm going to call myself student Mrs. Hartman for here. Now, your assignment is, is to write like you are writing with proper capitalization. The I's should be capitalized. Just because you're typing doesn't mean you don't capitalize it. Please make sure you do. Thank you. It makes me nervous when it's not capitalized, proper punctuation, proper capitalization signed. So when there is a question in here, I want to make sure that you respond, that you answer the question. So once I'm done composing the email, I'm going to send it. Now, since it was sent to me in my own email, I'm going to now be the teacher. So switching my hat, going to be the teacher. I'm going to open up my new email writing assignment for Monday. My writing assignment was to send an email to my teacher. So I wanted to let you know what I did this weekend. This weekend, I was able to help make a path through my woods. We put a drain tile in so the water doesn't wash the path going down the hill. How was your weekend? So as, as the teacher, I'm going to reply and respond. Well, I was working on schoolwork all weekend. I also put some finishing touches on my lumberjack project. I bet that pathway has washed out before that you were taking new plans. 
thank you for writing to me. So once I am done with responding, I'm going to send it. Um, let me let me add this. How long was okay? Oops, question. So now I've asked a question of you. What are you going to do? So I'm going back to my email. I change that hat again. Now I'm the student. Oh, I got a I got an email from my teacher. I'm so excited. Let's see. Well, I was working on schoolwork all weekend. Oh, that Mrs. Hartman, she must have been so busy. I also put some finishing touches on my lumberjack project. Ooh, that was really cool when she showed us on Thursday. I bet the pathway had washed out before that you were making new plans. Thank you for writing to me. How long was the path? And now I'm the student. It was asked a question. I'm going to reply again. And I'm going to send it. So there was no question left, so the teacher may or may not respond to it. So boys and girls, today, your job as a student is to start that first email and be writing um, to your teacher. Pose a question at the end. Your teacher will respond to you. It starts a great dialogue and a great way to start your work. So enjoy gmailing your teacher today. You got this. Do it well. Off you go gmailing.